वेलकम बैक यूर वॉचिंग द स्पेशल शो ऑन द दान उत्सव नाउ वी ऑल नो दैट लिस्टेड कंपनीज इन इंडिया हैव टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट अ स्मॉल पोर्शन ऑफ द प्रॉफिट टूवर्ड्स फिल एंथ्रोफिक एक्टिविटीज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द सी एस आर इनिशियटिव बट देर आर मेनी कंपनीज एंड इंस्टीट्यूशंस इन इंडिया विच ट्राई टू मूव बियॉन्ड वॉट दे मैंडेटेड टू डू टू मेक अ रियल डिफरेंस इन द वे फिल एंथ्रोफी इज लुकड एट इन द कंट्री वन सच इंस्टीट्यूशन इज द नेशनल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज By making financial literacy its key CSR objective, the National Stock Exchange is working in the area of philanthropy based on two key concepts: save and seva. How do these two key concepts help NSE drive its CSR journey? Let's just understand this from Mr. Vikram Limai, the managing director and CEO of the National Stock Exchange. Thank you, Mr. Limai. for giving us the time today i'm so glad to be here thank you uh, so on my way to nse i was just you know reading about the various csr uh, initiatives that you have you know what your contribution is as far as philanthropy is concerned and two elements which really get highlighted here one is save and the second one is seva yeah you would be the best person to tell me how do these two elements really drive and direct your csr journey yeah, so basically you know what we're focused on is the financial well-being of people right okay, broadly and that has two components like you mentioned one right. is obviously the safe part of it which right. is to focus on making sure that financial literacy and understanding of markets understanding of financial instruments etc is something we focus on so it's financial literacy investor education investor awareness and we run a very broad campaign surrounding that almost 2500 programs across almost all districts in the country right. so it is a very extensive program the second part of it is seva and there obviously our focus is to try and again improve the livelihoods of people who are actually you know in the low income category and the people who are disenfranchised okay. and are not really uh, you know able to make it on their own right and so we're providing a lot of support to such people uh, across multiple dimensions so we're right. focused on primary education we're focused on elder care we focused on uh, sanitation and uh, and water right. so those are the areas that we focused on as it relates to trying to improve uh, the well-being of people who are really at the bottom of the pyramid right. and who require a lot of support right. so those are really the way those are the two areas that we we think about in terms of how we can improve the financial well-being of people right uh, you know one parallel which i can really draw as far as your exchange operations are concerned as well as you know the csr and philanthropy activities technology and innovation right that has been at the core of nse here how do you try to bring these two elements that is technology and innovation when it comes to your csr initiatives how how do these two become a part of your you know contribution towards csr so uh, uh, along both fronts now when you look at the financial literacy and investor right. education and awareness we are obviously um, doing a lot in terms of um, using innovative tools Uh, in giving a lot of information and decision making opportunity in the hands of people uh, through curated learning through ways in which people can monitor what's going on with their of portfolios course. how to think about portfolios portfolio construction etc mm. etc so we're coming up with a lot of innovative tools uh, from an investor awareness financial literacy perspective and right. we've got some very interesting tie ups with Wharton with IIM Bangalore etc to develop such programs for the investor as it relates to our uh, csr initiatives on the uh, three or four areas i mentioned right. again there we are tying up with a lot of institutions that are focused on these areas right. who have you know a, a focus in either one or more of these areas hmm. who are using technology creatively right to for last mile access because okay. these as i said are people who are disenfranchised who are not in 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 the cities who are in rural communities who are in in uh, the tier 3 tier 4 districts villages etc where you have to use technology in mm. for the upliftment of people. people and so we are trying to use uh, technology on both fronts on how we can make lives better for those who are at the bottom of the pyramid and how to educate uh, the common man as it relates to markets right we read so much about the various csr initiatives and the steps which are taken in this particular direction so many companies are doing so many different kinds of things today but you know one problem which i still uh, feel exists is the sustainability you know there are so many initiatives which are being taken but because of lack of monitoring 
or you know lack of involvement from the entity which initiates these initiatives uh, the sustainability gets damaged somewhere how do you at nse uh, make sure that all these initiatives that you undertake so many of them are sustainable work and impact the right areas so one thing to um, that i would like to mention is that for instance we focused on a district transformation program right. okay whereby we are now focused on four districts out of the 115 that the niti aayog has um, has listed as aspirational districts right. we're focused on four of them as a start because we want to make a tangible impact measurable impact in a concentrated way rather than spreading ourselves too thin and that's one way of making sure that a it is sustainable because right. we are focused it is ongoing and it, there is continuity second is obviously we are working with people on the ground and right. so they are invested in what we are doing hmm. so we are doing it with the buy in of people right. on the ground hmm. with um, with agencies that are working in these areas on the ground right. with people whose lives are going to be impacted by what we are doing hmm. and getting their buy in into the programs that we are executing so that they see a tangible in impact to their livelihoods and how they are able to you know, improve right, right, in right, terms right. of their own livelihood so i think that is a core part of sustainability you need to have buy in and you need to have involvement of the people that you are trying to impact True. so that is what we are focused on so that we are a not spreading ourselves too thin and be working with people on the ground to make sure they understand what we're doing and how it's going to impact their impact life impact them yeah. the point that i'm going to talk to you about now is possibly you're the best person to explain us that particular point financial literacy that is something which has been at the core of your csr initiatives uh, of course at the exchange also you you know come across this particular term uh, very often but as far as you know bringing financial literacy to the larger world is concerned through your csr initiatives how do you do that explain to me the process uh, you know how you really empower people in the space of financial literacy there are various things that we do as i said you know last year we conducted almost 2300 programs right across 500 districts hmm. the goal this year is to conduct in excess of 2500 programs okay focused primarily on tier 2 tier 3 and 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 uh, more than 500 districts so it pretty much covers the entire country they are done through two different means one mm. is physical programs mm. where we actually talk to people and they are in gatherings where you know we are connected with people and we explain the basics of you know what it means to invest in markets what is it to save what is it to invest right. how they should think about risk very basics of 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 market savings invest investments etc the second is through online tools right and through digital technology because ultimately if you want to achieve scale hmm. there's only so much you can do through physical programs right there are only so many people you will get to Absolutely. attend whatever programs right so if you want to really scale up then you have to use technology and it right. has to be digital learning hmm. and there we are creating a lot of innovative ways of making it easy and interesting for people to learn for people to learn animated tools um you know various other ways in which people would find what you're trying to explain interesting and simple right. see these are common guys who are not sophisticated so it has to be relatively simple for the common man to understand and as i said financial literacy is part of csr but you know we're very focused on making sure that livelihoods of people on the ground are improved are improved and therefore our other initiatives surrounding what i described whether it's primary education water sanitation elder care hmm. are exceedingly important and we obviously are working very extensively right. in in these areas in order to make a difference because that is really what is required It's people required. who are at the bottom of the pyramid who need help hmm. uh, we certainly want to try and bring about tangible change in their lives in their lives yeah. uh, a couple of more questions you speak to a lot of corporates on a daily basis right of course these corporates listed companies are mandated to contribute 2% of their profit towards yeah. csr do you think the whole idea and the mentality in indian corporates especially i will talk about listed companies because that's the situation here is it changing are they you know looking beyond that 2% and you know looking really beyond what they mandated to do and looking at the aspects as to what they want to do how do they want to make that difference irrespective of that cap of 2% yeah so it's always a mixed bag hmm. you know you'll find some corporates uh, who are probably doing it more from a compliance perspective right okay and then you will some you will find some corporates who actually are doing it from a corporate responsibility standpoint in terms of recognizing the fact that it is it is exceedingly important 
for a corporate citizen mm. to actually make a difference in the communities that they serve, in the communities that they operate in. Right. And that is an important part, part. Of, uh, of the responsibility of a corporate. Right. And there are some who take that seriously mm. and will go beyond what is required from Required a compliance to. perspective because they consider that as an important part of their mandate and an important part of their role and responsibility and mm. will take it seriously, take it like seriously. we do. Right. But there will be others who will do a check the box type mm. of approach because they want to you know, do it from a compliance perspective, mm. may not feel as passionately about making a difference in the communities that they serve right. uh, the way they should. They so should. it is a mixed bag. My hope is that you know, that will change for mm. those who are not taking it as seriously as Serious. they should. Because a country like India actually requires everyone and mm. more to be able to make a difference because there's just so many people True. who need to be brought up brought in up. terms of living standards. Right. And I think the more that um, corporates do in this, in this area, uh, it is only going to benefit the country and I think it is our responsibility to take it seriously right. and to do our bit and it is a it is a big problem and all of us have to you know work chip towards it, it in and, and work in a responsible manner mm. to make sure that we're actually making a tangible difference to the communities that we serve right. and operate it. Let's end this interaction by you know talking about the way forward of course I was just reading about the kind of initiatives which NSE is taking as far as the CSR path is concerned. It's quite an umbrella approach, you know, where you try to incorporate a lot of different things. Uh, help me understand what are the kind of new initiatives also that you're working at, you know, something where you're not present today. Uh, what are these ki new steps that you're planning so to take? The, the one I mentioned, which is, a, which is the most significant, is this focus on district transformation. <coughs> And uh, that, is, that is obviously a, a new initiative. Uh, we are in the process of uh, you know, implementing that across four districts right. uh, that we've chosen. And that is an important initiative because like I said, um, we don't, in order to really have a tangible impact, you also need to concentrate and focus your efforts, efforts. in some ways. Absolutely. So we've picked these four districts so that if we're able to make a big difference in these four districts, hmm. I think a, it, it, it makes a, a more meaningful difference to the people in these four districts. B, it gives you a model that you can then roll out in many other districts. Right. And so we're starting with these four districts and we're focused on these areas that I mentioned, elder mm. care, primary education, sanitation and water. Right. And my hope is that for the resources that we're committing, and we have a very talented team and, and, and uh, people who are really passionate about what we're doing, that once we're able to bring about a difference in these four districts. We'll be able to then roll this out to many more districts many in, more districts. in a focused way. So right. that we are then able to measure the impact that we're making hmm. in, in, in a tangible, uh, concentrated fashion. And that yeah. I think is a lot more satisfying because you're able to see the difference on the ground uh, and the meaningful difference and change that you've been able to bring about in these districts. Right. And so that's the, that's the approach that we take. Thank you, Mr. Limay, for giving us the time today. Thank and you. I personally got to learn a lot from this interaction. Thank you again. Thank you. My pleasure.